Yeah, just now when you said like, it used to be nice to be a surprise. Yeah. Dude, that was the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing I miss the most about, um, you know, I'm grateful for having like uh, people come out and people get to know you and stuff, but it was awesome when only you knew you. Of course. In a way. And you got to be this like, you were like, we're always your secret because you're you, right? You And you build up this, especially as a comedian, you build up this sort of rapport with how to interact with the world mm -hmm. and to surprise people. Like, what, how did, what is this guy talk? Like that always seemed interesting to me. And then um, people get to know how your instrument works or it's just the, the surprise isn't there anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's different. Totally. I mean, that moment, I'm sure you feel this, like that moment where you feel like you've arrived and people know who you are and, and, and yeah, it, no longer do you surprise people. And so you kind of feel like you have to change or deviate from what you're doing or, and, and to try and keep that feeling. It's tough. I find it difficult. I know like, I know for myself, yeah, I, like I remember seeing a thing, an interview with Drake years ago, and he was just saying that moment where people are sharing your music and kind of say, you got to listen to this. He was like, You'll never get that back again, no matter how successful you get. Because yeah. um, that's the most exciting part. I don't know. I think like, for what you do, for what I do, for anyone involved in the arts, I think the work is the only thing that's exciting. It's the only thing. And of course you play big shows and you have ambition and you try and grow your career and all those things are lovely, but at the root of it, if you're not, like I always say, you could be miserable playing in stadiums, do you know what I mean? Or you could be completely content playing shows like last night. So I think it's very important to mm. keep that. So when did you start to learn that you had singing talent? I mean, I, I know that some of this will be like elementary stuff to you, but for some Not audience that doesn't know you, you know, so of like, course. Um, yeah, when did you start to learn that? Because how do you go from being like this sort of like, it, like, like, not recluse, but sort of this like, quiet kid, shadow lurkering. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, Good <laughs> guy. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, we don't want to make it sound like a villain. No. But sort of this, um, this guy who's this patient person. Mm -hmm. How do you go from that to like being able to like express yourself? Because dude, yeah, when you start, it's like, there's a lot of levels to what you do. Like sometimes I feel like there's like some Mac Miller. Sometimes I feel like there's like this Dr. Seuss of like Irish funerals going on. Mm -hmm. There's so many. And then sometimes it's just like this, you almost feel like you're at a opera or something. Right, right, way, right. You know? Yeah. So it's really impressive. Nice one, man. Thank you. Yeah, I try and do a few different things. But I, I remember my sister played piano, and she still does, when we were kids. And classic thing, I would just sing in the back of the car. And I remember my mom, I was just loud, you know? I'm still loud. And I, uh, so yeah, I just started figuring out. I played soccer quite seriously when I was a kid, seriously in my head. And, uh, and so <laughs> music was like a secondary thing. So I never worried about playing to people, because I, I was thinking about playing football. So... I uh, I would always, it, it came quite easy to me to play to people because I, I didn't see it as being that important the first few times, you know? And uh, and so, yeah, it just gradually became a thing. I started realizing I wanted to write music. I'd go into town and like do open mics and stuff. Oh, you would? Yeah, like Dublin's so supportive. That's what I mean. It's like, I know I was talking about notions and all that kind of stuff, but it's just like, it's a nice place. I was 15, 16 playing in these pubs and people would do anything to help you, you know? I don't know what it's like Class. in the States. Oh, but it's yeah, just, yeah. No, the Irish will do anything. Yeah. And they just, if they see some potential in you, they'll just kind of say, I know this person, I know that person, be careful with this and da-da-da. And loads of advice and all that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, just gradually. I mean, like I'm 32 now, so like... I've been doing this since I was 19, I guess. You know what I mean? So it's a long road. And I know we were talking about the red clay strays and how they've put time in. And I think if you get to a certain level, there's very few people who haven't had that journey. Do you know what I mean? I know you had Luke Combs on here. I know everybody's got their journey in music, but like there's so much time you spend knowing you're good and being frustrated that you don't have a career. You know what mm. I mean? So I think uh, you just have to be patient. It's so, like, it's so silly to me. It's so kind of arbitrary in a way because it's like, it's this thing where you're... <laughs> like you said, like you're lurking in the shadows, knowing you're good, and but no one's paying attention. And then out of nowhere, people decide you're just really good. And it's like, yeah, I knew that before. Yeah. But it just takes time. Yeah, it is. That is such a fine line. There's a... Like, what's it like for you? You know what I mean? Like when you knew you had this potential, but well, Yeah, I thought that I was were. funny. I think I was sitting on a porch one day at school, or in college, and this kid's like, you should do stand-up comedy, man. And I was like, fuck you, dude, you're an idiot, right? Mm -hmm. And the guy was an idiot. Mm-hmm. So I was right, yeah, yeah. but, uh, but yeah, I eventually I started doing comedy, you yeah. know, 
Um, but was but it that yeah, classic there were times thing? you start to do good. Yeah. And then you're like, why, why, what, you know, you see other people like I'm doing, but I think a lot of it's just time. And it's like, yeah, like weathering that storm and then weathering that storm of like other people's careers have been going, they have to have their successes. Mm -hmm. And so that's just the way that time works. Do you, do you find that hard sometimes when you see people like having massive moments? Yeah, I, I, I know you are too. So it's probably made easier by that. Of course, I definitely but. did early, earlier on, you know, and then, um, yeah, now it's like, you know, we're able, able to sell out a club and able to sell out some spots. So once you can kind of do that, you start to feel a little bit more like in control that like, at least, okay, at least I'm doing my job. Yeah. I think that's part of it too. It's like, hell, it's hard to admit to somebody that you're a comedian, like, mm. you know, cause everybody's funny and everybody has good stories, especially being from Louisiana. So, um, like they don't even have any comedy clubs in Louisiana because people are so funny just talking to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I'm not going to go pay $7 and go in that, mm -hmm. you know, booze when hole. When my friend is funnier than yeah, him. Yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. fucking Randy out here. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Did you spend a lot of time sort of doing sets and clubs with just oh, yeah. tough ones? Yeah, for years, man. Yeah, I would drive and do all the sets. Yeah, I think there was a part of me that wanted to be good at it. Of course. And then I think... After a while, I think the art chooses you because I didn't end up getting married. I didn't have a child. So th those things didn't kind of like start to take up my time. Mm -hmm. So I was still available for it, you know? Of course, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, I think there's there's a moment kind of where some of the art chooses you. Um, 